How's it going YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the HTC One M9. It has a lot of awesome features on it that are improved over the M8 especially when it comes to the hardware on the device. So we're going to cover some of that and kind of go through this device. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go do this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the HTC One M9. Now there really isn't a lot of difference here from the M8 and let me actually show it to you because I have both the devices. So you can see that, um, you know, what, there's a camera difference basically. Striping looks the same. Here's the uh, M8, this is Verizon, this is a T-Mobile M9. So when it comes to even the size and even the striping, it looks like the M9 is actually a smidgen shorter, just a little bit. Um, otherwise, there's not a lot of difference. Here, we'll even show you the front. Sorry, I got a lot of fingerprints on here. But uh, even the fronts are pretty close to the same. Speakers top and bottom like you're expecting. Obviously, screen size is exact. Um, line for line looks exactly the same. And some sensors are a little bit different on the top up there, but really that's it for the front-facing camera. All right, so let's get rid of the M8 out of here. And let me show you the rest of this up close and personal around the edges because that's really where you're going to get any of the variants in this. So right here you can see this is the top, this is this little sensor bar right up here. This would be your IR blaster would be contained in here. Um, so you know it's there, it is what it is. But this is probably where you're going to see the most variant in it. And hopefully you guys can kind of make this out. And you can almost see it there. Yeah, try to get it. Alright, so right there. The top button up here, that is your volume up your volume down and your power and at least on my model I think it's probably a bad build or something um, this button's the highest this one's a little bit lower and then the, vo the power button is super low so kind of annoying that it's like that but it is what it is also you have um, I think this is micro USB or micro SD I should say and then I'm pretty sure on the other side that is your SIM card you know so fine and then basically besides that you go around to the bottom and right there you have your charging port and your headphone jack so that's pretty much it there ain't much more to this device on the outside let's go ahead and power it up so first power up again you got that really small um, button there on the side that's really kind of finely pressed you actually have to press past the body of the phone to push the power button at least on like I said, this version, which is kind of annoying. All right, so we do have the double tap to wake. I'm definitely liking that. There's your lock screen, pretty basic. Swipe up and unlock the device. So we're gonna go through some of the software on this thing. Um, pretty cool. So basically, your home screens, right? Here's your uh, feeds over here. This is just my Google Plus, because that's what I've signed into. I actually kind of do like this feed up here. It just, it just, it actually brings in some really good information. So I'm pretty happy with it, actually. So very nice. And then you've got this little widget up here that basically will suggest applications to you, and it'll kind of organize it the way you, they think you're going to use it. Let's put it that way. So if you come in here, you can check through some suggestions of applications that they think you might want to check out, which is you know fun, I guess, no big deal, but uh, just interesting. All right, we're going to check out our app drawer. So I basically installed one thing, my benchmark application. And you guys can definitely check out a video on that, on the HTC One M9 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. I did a video on that that I think you might find interesting. I'll try to link it in the video description down below. But other than that, um, you know, you've got your T-Mobile applications, basic bloatware, um, all your Google stuff right there. Obviously, you can see that it does have some real good snappy transitions, which I'm pretty happy about. They're very quick versus some other devices. So, um, pretty nice basic HTC, you know, kind of things on here. So, we'll come back out. We're going to go into our pull down here. And, you know, I like it. It's definitely got all your, you know, little widgets or toggles and everything on here, which is nice. You can go ahead and arrange the toggles. You can have 12 out of all of these so I you know your top 12 is right here's your dividing line so you can only do 12 you can't put them all on the screen but you can rearrange them um, so I'm gonna do like NFC let me bring that up here 
and we'll take screen screenshot off there you go and we'll put NFC on and then you hit done and now when you pull them down yeah there's NFC right there so you can turn NFC on and off which is cool uh, one of the things that's kind of nice about this is that you can actually get these three little dots and when you do that it'll bring you into deeper settings which I do like that feature as well that's pretty nice on there so other than that you do have multitasking down here and this is interesting you know this is their standard um, interface with these cards but you can also go back to the stock one if you go into settings instead of doing grid view you can do card view and you'll have the cards just like you know lollipop should have on it which is cool other than that the things that I really really like about uh, the M9 are probably this themer I think the themer is really cool there's a lot you can do with it you do have to go ahead and sign into an HTC account to use the theme engine but it's pretty nice so basically the way this theme engine works is you can come in here and you have a lot of different things you can choose from you have recommendations you have themes wallpapers icons sounds fonts and my themes and profiles in terms of condition these are all your little stuff you can you can swipe on from the side but if you want a basic theme just for an example I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one so we're gonna download it while it's downloading I'm gonna go into my theme because I think that's probably the coolest place to do and these are some other themes that are in here you can see that's a default one but we're gonna go into my current theme and when you come in here this is where you can modify each individual thing how you might want it so I'm just gonna give you an example we're going to go to the default colors. That's the HTC default, but if I come in here to this one and change it, you'll just see that, you know, for example, my toggles all change. Or, you know, your, your dialer is going to look different, or however you want to do it. So, it's pretty cool that you can easily theme this very easily. Um, so, here's another one. So, you can do your wallpapers. So, for example, I'm going to just do this wallpaper, and I'm going to apply it. You know, and your wallpapers will change. Should change. Let's check out that dialer with that new theme. So it's all blacked out. Um, let me get back into my theme engine. And that other theme has actually fully installed now. So we can go in and there's a bunch of different ways to get to the themer. So we're going to go into my theme editor there we go you can see you can get to it from settings or other ways oh that was lock screen that's why it didn't change we'll do it here we'll apply it for the uh, home screen now it should change so there you go um, let me actually go ahead and apply the uh, theme I actually downloaded there it is tilt we're going to do apply sure All right, and then we're going to go back up and shabam. So we have a new theme, and it looks pretty slick. A lot of things are blacked out. See your background's all blacked out. Um, dialer's probably going to be blacked. Yeah, it's not really too blacked out, but uh, so it's just cool. Basically, themes are just nice because it really lets you customize and operate your device how you want it. The other thing you can do is like icons, for example. So. These are a bunch of icons you can pick from. But I'm going to go back to my theme, and I do have some icons already downloaded. Basically, my theme is where you're going to want to be to do this. So, icon tiles. I'm going to go with these white ones, because they're just kind of sweet looking. I think they might look good with this theme. And this just changes the icons on the theme. So, there you go. You can see they all kind of changed up. And then, these are all changed. So I think it looks cool. I actually really like this uh, white and black. I'm pretty a plain kind of guy. So, But there you go. That's basically how you do your theming. I, I think it's a pretty cool feature, and I'm glad that a lot of manufacturers are putting this in their phones. Even the Samsung Galaxy S6 has it in there. So I'm just going back to default just so we can see back to what we're normally at when you get it. And there you go. So pretty nice. All right, next let's go ahead and take a quick look at the camera on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and get the camera and check out how the camera works. So it's kind of focusing on my desk there, but let's let's just shoot it up here and take some quick photos and uh, see how well these actually take and actually come out. 
So I'm just trying to take up some pretty quick. Hopefully they uh, they turn out pretty good. All right, let's take a look at those. Well, that actually looks pretty decent. Um, not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's definitely better than the camera on the M8. I'm liking it a lot better than that. Um, it's very snappy and quick, so it took took pretty fast photos. There's some other ones I did earlier. So, um, you know, not, not too bad at all, really. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty good. So, you know, I'll do more testing on the camera, but, you know, for what it is, I'm definitely liking it better than the Ultra Pixel on the M8. You got a bunch of different Zoe modes and, you know, themes and different things you can do from here as well. So, we'll take that back off. So, you know, pretty decent. So, let's talk about some of the specs on this device. Let's go ahead and go into settings and about and then we're going to go do software information so you guys can see that this does have android 5.0.2 on it right up here it doesn't let you do the easter egg unfortunately which kind of stinks and then you can see some base bands and some build numbers as well but the cool thing about this is that it does have a snapdragon 810 cpu which is a octa core 64-bit processor it's processors and specs on these phones are getting insane I mean they are really really quick it's also sporting 32 gigs of internal memory along with 3 gigs of RAM so I'm pretty happy with the specifications on these and really any of the new devices new Android devices that are on the market right now are gonna be powerhouses besides that you obviously have the HTC boom sound you can see it right there which is a great great feature Along with that, you have that 20 megapixel camera like I talked about, and the front-facing camera is really nice too as a, um, you know, it's kind of that ultra pixel camera still, it's just on the front of the device. So, not bad. 4K video recording and all that as well. So, pretty, pretty nice. Along with that, it's got 4G LTE and, you know, the, the standard stuff for what's on the market these days. Let's go ahead and just really quickly kind of skim through the settings one more time. It does have gestures, which is really cool. So you can come in here and you can look at some different things, but you can go down here to, um, where was it at? Motion launch gestures, right there. And this is where you can turn on double tap to wake um, and sleep right there. There's that little checkbox. And you can do any of these different settings as you might want. Swipe to unlock, um, volume button to launch camera. So this is where you would turn those on and off in the display gestures. Along with display gestures, we have, let's see here, basically personalization is the next one you really want to look at when it comes to the settings. The rest of that's pretty much stock. So, again, basically this is the theme engine for the most part right here. The one thing I did notice that was uh, pretty neat, because yeah, see it's change wallpaper, change accent colors, change all these different things, ringtones. This is basically the same theme engine, but just in the settings fonts and styles and keyboards and dialers and everything else so what I did notice though was this right here that's not and this is change navigation buttons which is really a nice feature and defaultly the navigation back button is on the other side so it kinda looks more like this see the back buttons over there and the other thing that's cool is you can actually add some neat features so for example maybe you like to have quick settings accessible a lot easier so notifications right up there is what they call it and then I'm actually gonna turn these back around there we go and then one more up and then hit done and now you can get to the bar really quickly for notifications and pull your notifications without even dragging down from the top you can do it right there with the button and we'll, two, we'll do one more um, quick settings we'll do that that one that changes it so now it actually does quick settings when you push the button. So, very cool. Um, I like the features and the functionality of adding these buttons and organizing them how you like. Again, anything with customization built into a stock ROM is the way to go. So, there you go, guys. That's kind of going to be my overview of this. Like I said, if you want to see more things specifically on testing uh, benchmarks, heat, temperature with the 810 processor, I have a video specifically on both of those things. Definitely going to want to check that out. Stay tuned for more coverage on this along with all the hacking, ROMs, 
root access, custom recovery. We'll be doing all of it on this device. Stay tuned for those videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.